Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Suppose a, b, c, and n are integers, where n is greater than zero. Then, a is congruent to a modulo n. If a is congruent to b modulo n, then b is congruent to a modulo n. And if a is congruent to b modulo n and b is congruent to c modulo n, then a is congruent to c modulo n. Now, our definition of congruence modulo n is as follows. Suppose a, b, and n are integers, where n is greater than zero. We say a is congruent to b modulo n if n divides a minus b. And to say that n divides a minus b means a minus b is equal to n times some integer. Now, in this theorem, we're essentially trying to prove that congruence modulo n is an equivalence relation on the integers. Right, we're trying to prove that it's reflexive, symmetric, and transitive. Okay, so now let's get into proving this theorem. Let's start out by proving this first fact. Now, we're trying to prove a is congruent to a modulo n. And by our definition, that means we want to show that n divides a minus a which means we want to show n divides 0. Well, we know that n divides 0 because 0 is equal to n times 0. Right? 0 is equal to a minus a. So what this tells us is that a minus a is equal to n times some integer, which means n divides a minus a. By our definition, this means a is congruent to a modulo n. So this proves our first fact. Now let's prove our second fact. To prove our second fact, let's suppose a is congruent to b modulo n. The whole goal from here is to show that b is congruent to a modulo n. Now since a is congruent to b modulo n, this means by our definition that n divides a minus b. What does it mean for n to divide a minus b? It means that there exists an integer such that a minus b is equal to n times that integer. I'll call that integer k. Now remember, our goal is to show that b is congruent to a modulo n. And by our definition, this means we want to show that n divides b minus a. Now, we can bring b minus a into our work just by multiplying negative 1 on both sides of this equation. If we multiply negative 1 on both sides, we know that negative 1 times a minus b is equal to b minus a. And negative 1 times nk is equal to n times negative k. So this tells us that b minus a is equal to n times an integer. Therefore, n divides b minus a. And since n divides b minus a, this tells us that b is congruent to a modulo n. So we have shown if a is congruent to b modulo n, then b is congruent to a modulo n. This verifies our second fact. Now let's prove our third fact. So to prove our third fact, let's suppose a is congruent to b modulo n and b is congruent to c modulo n. From here, we want to show that a is congruent to c modulo n. Well, to start, since a is congruent to b modulo n, this tells us that n divides a minus b. Since b is congruent to c modulo n, this tells us that n divides b minus c. Now, since n divides a minus b, this means that a minus b is equal to n times some integer. I'll call that integer p. And since n divides b minus c, this means that b minus c is equal to n times some integer. I'll call that integer q. Now remember, we want to show that a is congruent to c modulo n. By our definition, that means we want to show n divides a minus c. Well, we can bring a minus c into our work by adding these two equations together, right? If we do a minus b plus b minus c, 
let's note that if we add these two together, this results in a minus c. But really, we know that a minus b is equal to np, so we'll substitute a minus b for np. Also, since b minus c is equal to nq, we'll substitute b minus c for nq. And from here, we can just factor out an n. So, we see that a minus c is equal to n times some integer, which means n divides a minus c. And since n divides a minus c, this tells us that a is congruent to c modulo n. So, we have shown if a is congruent to b modulo n and b is congruent to c modulo n, then a must be congruent to c modulo n. So, we have shown that this third fact is true. And since we've shown all three facts are true, that's exactly what we wanted to prove. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.